playing this Eight, game for so seven, long. We've seen it in this six, competition for so long. Five, Jet lag, brand new. Four, three, Absolutely crushing two, it. Yeah, one, crushing it. Five, Good speed right out of the box and eruption. But Jet lag's got under uh, his opponent. Is taking the fight to eruption. Oh, two good pops there. Cannot believe this, but the rookie, rookie taking advantage. The first half, uh, first part of this fight. Lars is pursuing his prey here, and it looks like the weapon on eruption could be down. Quite possibly. Nope, it's back. Look at that. I think these are two hub motor uh, drums here. Yeah. Wow. So very similar weapons. Whoa. Oh, and Jetlag just throws Eruption across the uh, the box. I got to say, if this went to a judge's decision right now, I think Jetlag would have it. They are dominating this first part of the fight. 45 seconds in, and Jetlag, this is Jetlag's match. Oh, but look at this. Is jet lag? Oh, it was doing the thing momentarily, but Eruption came over and very helpfully helped it down. Yeah, actually without any damage. Well done. So it looks like the left side of the drive on jet lag is not working. That does change the calculations of this oh. match quite a bit. Yeah, it does look like one half of the drive on jet lag is impaired. Eruption, uh, well, now Eruption's upside down, but they were 100% operational before that happened to them. It is gyro dancing and gyro walking for jet lag from now on. We'll see how that changes this whole calculation to who's going to win this fight. Now, Lars, the uh, driver of jet lag, is trying to use this, um, this, this one dead wheel and still try and engage, which is incredible. It looks yeah, like very challenging. Do you think the weapon on Eruption is down? Will I, it come back? I, Kyle, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's down. I the don't see anything happening. The weapon on Eruption happening. is down. This one might go to the judges. This is going to be an interesting one for them to call. Look at all this debris inside of the box. This has been an incredibly destructive match. The weapon on jet lag is still running. Wow. Hmm, that's a good pin from Eruption. Eruption can hold that pin for 10 seconds. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with uh, the with Lars's gy uh, gyro dancing driving with this bot. It's not easy to do. He's still able to keep that weapon mostly towards his opponent. Wow, and this is uh, showing a bit more control too. I mean, it's hard to show control when one half wow. of your drive is dead. He's doing everything he possibly can. This is his first beetle weight. Yes. This is his first beat away, his first time at Norwalk. I mean, this is just very impressive driving. I, I, you know, up against a veteran like Eruption. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. That's the match. Turn off okay. your weapon. Jet lag. This was a fantastic match. Round of applause for both of these drivers. They did a fantastic job. That was back and forth, just brutal hits. All right, as we go to the judges, I guess we're going to find out what uh, they value more, aggression, damage, or control, or some, uh, some combination of the three. Let's start with uh, Diana. Diana, your thoughts on this fight? Jet lag versus well, eruption. I thought, I thought this was a very good fight, lots of back and forth. I thought that jet lag heavily dominated the first part of the fight. I thought Eruption, even without a weapon, got, had some good control for the latter part of the fight. Um, I am going to give it to Eruption, though. All right, we've got one vote but, for Eruption. How about you, Don, your thoughts? This is a very close match. Yeah. Uh, you know, jet lag dominated the better part of the first half, um, and the, yeah, eruption tried to come back. Well, he did come back at the very end, uh, try using the strategy to get around him. Um, I'm gonna go eruption. Okay, we've got two votes for eruption. Jack, your thoughts. I'm also going to go for Eruption. They were a lot more aggressive and had complete control of the fight once their weapon had gone down, and they just didn't really give their opponent a chance to do anything. All right, we've got a unanimous judge's decision in favor of Eruption.
which uh, survives winner's bracket round four. And uh, we're going to see Jetlag and Lars Elliott kicks down into the loser's bracket, so we will see him at least one more time. Let's see if we can get the, uh, the, the drive working on that robot for, uh, for its next match. Congratulations to Eruption. That was a hard-fought victory. Yeah, that yeah, was that really was good. Fest. Yeah. These are the kind of fights that we want to see here in prime time. All right, we're going to head back over into the larger arena for some 12-pound action. I like the 12 pound logo, it's nice. We're gonna see, dri wow, okay, never mind. We're gonna see 12 pound Sportsman, Sportsman action. So we're gonna see Accident Five, versus Draconid. Draconid, of course, is two, built by Seth Schaefer, one, one of uh, Bloodsport's team members on BattleBot. Draconid, it's got a uh, undercutter saw on the one side and a wedge on the other. In this case, it's got the forks on the other. Saw is not allowed to spin a top oh, speed. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, and the saw is oh, gone. No, it's gone now anyway, so. Uh, Oh, did you did you steal all of his Loctite? <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Seth. <laughs> all right, we've got uh, some good hits there from Accident. And really, without that saw blade, Draken is now a push bot and an effective one, facing uh, some pretty aggressive tapping from yeah. Accident. That's what Accident does: aggressive, aggressive tapping. That is the interesting thing about facing accident, right? You could be winning the wedge pushing match with him. But uh, he's still scoring points. With the aggressive taps. For they are so aggressive and so tappy. <laughs> yeah, but good pushing power here from Draconid. Just really showing that uh, it's got some good drive motors here. Looks so, like uh, it looks like Accident's hammer might be stuck in the forward position. Yeah. Are we going to see any more aggressive tapping from Accident? Looks like we're tapped out. Yeah, there we go. Good play on words there, Kyle. Trying. Trying to keep up with Chris. It's hard. Yeah, nobody <laughs> can keep up with Chris. <laughs> All right, this is going to come down to a pushing match. 70 seconds left here in this fight. Accident trying to get an angle. Dragonhead not really letting him have one. But that basically means the bots are just kind of dancing. Do a little dance. 45 seconds left here in this fight. I am uh, pleased to announce that Rip and Tear has, in fact, stamped their ticket to the December finals. We will oh, wow, see yeah. Rip and Tear in December. That's incredible. Awesome. No matter what happens in the rest of that bracket. Now, uh, Gil, I would love to uh, get a running tally of all of the robots that qualify as they do. I know that uh, 12 pound is already pretty far along. And um, yeah, I know that uh, we're also going to be stamping some 30 pound uh, tickets here, too. 10 seconds left here in this match Draconid versus Accident. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Drive to the door if you can. This one goes to the judges. I feel like all sportsman class matches basically go to the judges, don't they? That's the point. Yeah. Literally the point. Yeah. All right. Well, this was an odd one. It's a sportsman class, so, you know, we're just doing it for bragging rights. That's true. Maybe we can start with Jack. Your thoughts on this fight? Yeah, I'm going to give that to Accident. They got a lot more use out of their primary weapon, and they got a couple of pins in, and so there's not really any other way I could give it to Draconid. All yeah. right, we've got one vote for Accident. How about you, Don? Your thoughts? Uh, yeah, both bots lost weapons um pretty much and then uh dragon could couldn't really capitalize trying to control the match and then at the end accident used its hammer as a pull to control the match so got an accident all right we've got two votes for accident diana your thoughts uh make it three votes for accident 
student. Um, I agree with what Jack and Don said. The aggressive tapping and the aggressive jousting at the end sold it. All right. Okay. Aggressive jousting. I like that. The, uh, the Hammerbot accident survives uh, into winner's bracket round three, while Draconic gets kicked down into the loser's bracket of 12-pound sportsmen.